In this Makey Makey video, I'm going to explain how to assign a unique audio recording to a specific key on your keyboard. This video uses Scratch 3.0 as of January 2019. First of all, navigate to the Scratch website, which is scratch.mit.edu. Uh, then create an account, it's free, or log in with your existing account, or just click on the Create tab right here. And uh, keep in mind that you'll need to log in to your account if you want to save your work later. So just click the Create tab. And now I'm on the main screen. If you're new to Scratch, then I suggest you watch the introductory videos here in the middle of the screen. And after you watch them, close the tutorial window. If you want to watch them again later, then you can click on the Tutorials tab. Uh, right up here at the top of the screen. On the left-hand side of the screen, you're going to use the blocks of code. Uh, for this ex exercise, we're going to use the sound and events blocks. So there's sound and here's events. You can also just scroll between the two. <clears throat> uh, click on the events tab, or, or I'm sorry, the events code. And we're going to choose first when space key pressed and drag it over here into uh, the scripts area. Then we're going to uh, click on sound, the sound blocks of code, and you're going to choose this play sound meow until done. Drag that over. And if you put it close enough, you'll see there's a shadow and they'll snap together. So this yellow block is when space key pressed. The sound block is play sound meow until done. Well, we don't want meow. We want it to say North America in this example. So I'm going to click the arrow next to meow and then click on record. And uh, you can see my voice is uh, registering here in this record sound uh, area by the um, meter going up and down right here. That's a good thing. So then you're going to click on the record button here north america and you'll see that scratch 3.0 has automatically uh, eliminated the beginning and ending of the recording that probably isn't useful to me i can play the recording as it sounds right here north america and i can edit this even i can uh, drag these lines the edit tool, North America. And you can see that that didn't work very well. I can also lengthen this, North America. There we go. So I'm going to drag this back over here and just get the audio. And I can, if I don't like the recording, I can click on the re, uh, re record. I can show you that. So we're back here. That recording is gone. So I'm going to do it again, North America. And there we go. I'm going to save this. And now we're uh, back at the window of all of my sounds here the, uh, that are going to start appearing in this left-hand column. I'm going to name this recording uh, so it's easy for me to figure out what it is later. I'm going to call it North America. And I'm going to go over to the code area, this code tab at the top left. Uh, back there, and you can see I'm back where we started. When the space key is pressed, play sound meow until done, except I don't want meow, I want North America. And if I click this arrow, you can see North America now appears. That's the recording I just made. And if I click on the space bar, I can see if it actually is going to work. I'm clicking on the space bar on my computer. North America. There it is, it works. I can also change uh, the um, key that's associated with this sound. Instead of space, I can choose the up arrow, down arrow, or any of the letters here. So I'm not done. I want to also record another sound. So I'm going to go back to events when, and choose the block when space key pressed. I'm going to put it over here, keep things nice and neat. And then I'm going to go back to sound. Play sound meow until done. Put it close enough so that they snap together. And uh, I don't want the sound meow, and I, I don't want the space key. So I'm going to change the space to the up arrow 
and I'm gonna choose not meow, I'm gonna look for South America. Well, South America is not there for this project. So I gotta record South America, click on record. And let's see if I can get this quickly. South America, I'm gonna test this sound. South America, there we go. There is a sound here right at the beginning, which I don't want. South America. So I'm gonna move this right to here. Let's see how that sounds. South America. I like that, I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna retitle this, not recording one, that's the default. I'm gonna call it South America. And I'm gonna go back to my code. And I see when up arrow key press, play sound meow, I don't want meow. I wanted to choose South America. So now when I hit the up arrow or the space bar, let's see what it says. Should say North America. North America. And when I hit the up arrow key, it should say South America. South America. So I can continue on with this and make recordings of any length. And, um, and I can even go back and edit recordings. I can make this uh, North America sound sound like a robot. North America. There we go. So now when I go back to my code and I click on the space bar, North America, it has changed. If I want to go back to the way it was, I've got to hit the redo sound, which is uh, uh, actually I can't redo that now that I went back to my code. So now this is always going to sound like that. I can even make a robot that echoes. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the meow. Let's go back to the... Uh, to the North America. So here's the robot echoed. North, North America. There you go. Uh, so if I don't like that feature on the echo, I, I could just America. hit that uh, reverse sound right there. Okay, that's it. Uh, remember that you have to save your work if you're not signed in. You need to create an account and sign in and you're all done.